If the fans, when they see this film, would take away something, what, what are your hopes that they take away from this film? I hope they just, uh, I hope they enjoy it as much as they enjoyed the other ones. I think that's a, such an important part of this film. A lot of people try to talk about, you know, the themes and all these things. I think like, I just hope that they just have, have fun, you know? I hope that it gives them a, you know, two hours of, uh, uh, two hours of break from the real world and just like, you know? It's been a long time. Yeah. You look so businessy. Uh, I mean, don't let this suit fool you. You know, I'm still a rebel. Oh. Last Friday, left work 20 minutes early. Whoa. Yeah, I know. I don't like okay. to talk about it. It's a deal. Your secret's safe. Yeah. Thank don't you. Worry. Don't tell anyone. Oh, okay. <laughs> tell me about the time jump at the end. Is it what you expected when you read the script to see the characters where they were? Not necessarily, no, but I think um, I think it's nice to to see that kind of well-rounded ending and see where they end up. It's less ambiguous and you kind of can, you can kind of gauge an idea of where it's going and what happens, you know. That possibly maybe I'm falling for you. Standing there at the carnival and seeing Noah again after all that time, I couldn't help but think of one thing. No one understands me quite like you do through all of the shadowy corners of me that all of this happened just because of well you know it feels like it sets up another movie i mean most movies kind of feel like they have that ability at this point in the perfect world where would you like to see if there was a fourth movie it come back in time is it 10 years 20 years later is it kids in the picture where where's what's the era for you i think i'd like to see them all in a nursing home together <laughs> yeah that would be cool that would be quite interesting and then maybe it's like it's like the film is like a series of monologues of them recounting everything that happened from 20 to 92. Yeah, so you think you think Elle and Noah make it the long the long haul? Well, I'm not sure if they do or not, but I'm, that's what I would, I just think it would be interesting to see that. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty romantic to think of, to see the flick like that, and you guys aged up and to play those characters would be lovely. Um, no, no, I'm my, saying we play it when we're 90. In line with the movie, tell me a little bit about a bucket list. Do you have a bucket list? Do you do you do like a summer bucket list, like stuff I want to do in the summer? And who are you with? Are you with friends, family? What goes down? You know, I don't really have a bucket list. I wouldn't. I'm more of a play it as it lays kind of person. Um, um, but I, but if if I could see my my ideal summer would be at home with my uh, with my family and my uh, my mates, just sort of uh, at the beach. It's very very easy, you know. Yeah, laid back and relaxing. Yeah, exactly. 